what's happening with real-time payments is that there are a lot of disruptors out there that are bringing uh, near real-time payment solutions to the market. And what that means by near real-time is that they have figured out a way to emulate real-time in many cases, which means that to the consumer, it looks and feels like real-time. And sometimes that's really all you need is that the consumer looks and, and feels like the transaction is occurring in real time. And what's starting to happen is that the disruptors are beginning to um, eat into the clients and the usage of the bank customer are starting to move over to the disruptor applications and use those because they are more real time in many cases than the banks. And so the banks are actually potentially losing uh, some of the transactions from their customer base. In many cases, they're not, in fact, making any revenue off of those transactions, but they're still, they're still losing potentially the experience of that customer going to their bank for their financial services needs. And therefore, what the implication is for that is that when the customer needs something down their personal value chain, like maybe an auto loan or a mortgage or something of that nature, where the bank does make money, that the consumer will not think of the bank as their first stop along their financial journey. What's interesting about the disruptors is in some cases, the disruptors are capturing some of the balances and holding some of the balances. So if you think of the traditional model of, of e-commerce, many of us sometimes leave money sitting in the sites that we like to shop in and that money essentially is money that is not sitting in a bank. Um, we often call those core deposits or the, the foundation of deposits that, that customers keep in banks. And so in some cases that money is sitting in accounts that are dispersed kind of across the economy and not aggregated in banks. So really as banks try to capture back that share of those transactions, they're in essence capturing some of those deposits back into the infrastructure. Many of our clients are looking at real-time payments as just making payments faster. We think there's actually a more critical aspect of it and it gets back to, again, the, the customer journey, the way that customers want to be served. And fast is just one of the equation of convenient and personalized and those types of things. And so as we look at how we're advising our clients around real-time payments, it's really to start as uh, that customer journey and kind of looking at the transformation of how they're serving their customers across that journey and not just as something as simple as just making a payment faster.